Do you even know what those road signs really mean? I have absolutely no idea and I have been driving on Bengaluru roads for the past 10-12 years and each time a traffic policeman stops me at a signal right when I'm hurrying for a shoot, I get extremely annoyed. Recently, I saw a tweet where the Bengaluru traffic police force was calling upon citizens to volunteer as traffic wardens. And that's when I realized that the population of vehicles on Bengaluru roads is far greater than the actual population of Bengaluru. And that is when I realized I have this newfound respect for 5,000 odd traffic police force of Bengaluru city. When it comes to traffic management in Bengaluru, we are looking at 13,000 kilometers, 193 one ways, over 44,000 intersections, 353 traffic signals and vehicular population of over 70 lakhs. Every day, 2,000 cars and 2,000 bikes added to our Bengaluru city police. You know, Bengaluru city limits. So now, what we are doing is we are doing it. Every day challenge. It's a every day, day to day challenge. So traffic is a you know, it's not you know. Now we are doing it. Sorry, I got it. Traffic, it's a continuous process. Now you are doing it. We are doing it. Next, we are doing it. 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 So it may be work or it may may not be. So again, we want to adjust that situation and we change. Want to change that you know plans. Again, we want to implement that. So this is the major challenge for Bengaluru city traffic. Bengaluru boasts of the largest traffic force in India, yet their hands are full. According to data, there are at least 3,000 accident cases witnessed in 2022 alone. The number of traffic policemen will not be sufficient to a large number of uh, roads. And to monitor every road and every junction uh, is difficult uh, for the traffic policemen. Though, the uh, government has been very supportive and uh, we are getting a lot of uh, policemen. Uh, but uh, it takes a little time uh, for recruitment, training and, uh, and uh, by the time they come, uh, it will be almost a year or, or so. So, uh, immediate need is generally somebody, some people, uh, if they volunteer, they come like you have got traffic wardens organization, you have got uh, uh, traffic marshals, uh, young student, uh, police, uh, cadets. Uh, uh, these people uh, we rope in general. Earlier also we have used to rope in these people uh, for all our regulation works. Uh, so that's why we uh, had given a call that uh, because I was told uh, for quite some time in traffic wardens uh, that our number has not increased. So now good response is coming now. In fact, now we are going to have another 200 uh, traffic wardens uh, immediately in a month time. The special commissioner and his team believe. This is a great opportunity for citizens to dive right into the department, understand the real challenges and even appreciate the effort. Who knows, they will follow traffic rules and become ambassadors too. I police now, traffic band on the Eastern rules, Sida Venu, Yuaga Chikondi. Even in Namun, the Wahana, only in over Kodakara, in them on the Vishna Martha, only DLA law, on Worsa Kagata illa, on Elma Takana illa, and on the Manabo, Namalira. Some of the traffic policemen who served the department for 15 to 20 years are so grateful to these traffic wardens who come from different walks of life. In fact, K.M. Girish is one of them who claims that such volunteers end up doing a better job. Since 2014, this three-acre land in Bengaluru's Tani Sandra has been dedicated to training citizen volunteers, traffic cops, students, bus drivers and more. From soft skills, signages, first aid to more, the classrooms are busy right through the year. Manpower apart, the next plan of action is to increase the number of police stations in high-density areas. We have already proposed five traffic police stations in the most difficult areas like Bell and Bee. Uh, other in the and then uh, two other places the traffic congestion is very high. 
so this definitely will help uh, in uh, mitigating the situation. From removing the practice of towing vehicles, banning goods vehicles on Hebbal flyover in Bengaluru, the traffic department is now mulling a future where there is no physical manning of vehicles. High-end cameras and upgraded technology will aid the traffic department in 24-hour surveillance. We are uh, having good technology available now. And also we are doing now almost 50% of our cases booked in the uh, tra against traffic violations is through online, uh, through cameras. Only. So that uh, by you know, maybe a couple, within a couple of years, there won't be any checking on roads except for drunk and driving and they are required to do that. 10,000 new cameras are set to be introduced into the system, replacing some of the old ones. New enforcement cameras are also in the pipeline. This robust system will be utilized to spot a maximum of 1 lakh violations per day, even if it is M.A. Salim. Well, I got a chalan for my vehicle way back in 2012, so that was uh, the memorable moment because the system what we had introduced, uh, the, the uh, automated chalaning system, that uh, has paid off. And at least uh, the machines, uh, the uh, cameras and other things don't differentiate between people.